this place, this place is much more different than what it once was. Yo, what's up guys? This is Edo's everything on the other side. I'm telling you, your emotions will now react things, make things shift in your environment much faster. If you've been paying attention as the veil lifts, the veil is gonna, the veil is like <sighs> that light code lockdown, all right? Let's just apply the veil to that. Once that veil lifts, AKA that light code lockdown, you're gonna see your thoughts, your emotions affect the external reality, yo. I'm just being real with y'all right now. Like y'all, y'all already see probably a bunch of stuff like, you know, affecting your reality right now. I'm talking about shifting the electronics, shifting the people, shifting the way you're feeling emotionally right now. All of this plays on a bigger scale. That's why you had to do the work. The work had to be done before you can step into this new energy. Because you can't step into the new with the old energy. You can't do that. That's why I recommend like focus on your inner healing right now. Don't focus on anybody else. Actually focus on that inner love and try to put that out in your external world as much as possible. Like today, man, I'm noticing things much, much differently affect my reality. I know you guys pick up on this too. So as you start to apply certain traits, you will notice that it start to alter your external reality much quicker. And this is how you know you are like a creator in this reality. If you notice, you affect things much more than you have ever paid close heed to. I don't know if you notice how those people, how you let go, you notice how you let go old people, you know, you notice how their ways, they'll say one thing and do another thing. This is why they kept you close because they're trying to, if you can't beat somebody, you make them your friend. And when you make them your friend, you find out everything about, you find out everything about them so you can destroy them. You've been, you've been like a motherfucking anomaly. Like, whereas like you're so much as a threat, people, people try to sabotage you behind closed doors because of this fact, because they see how much how big of a part you play in this external world. You're going to start to notice more and more and more. That's why when people try to like put harm or shed harm towards you in any way like that, it does not work. It does not work at all. That is why people try to do so much to try to stop you. The enemy is now in these people for life. They actually, it was like a soul binding contract I'm getting. Like this may, you know, this is only for some of you, but People that went or went against you to try to stop you, now they have like a soul contract with Satan. So now there's always going to be that constant negative energy bombarding them because they had to trade something to offer up for what they tried to do to you. But it didn't work. God stepped in because God allowed everything to happen because God wanted to use this point to so to show you who people really are, because God knows you have like a loving heart. You're open. You're like open to most people. Right. So God was like, yo, he wanted you to see everything for what it is. That's why he put you in a in like a cycle. You got to understand that. So it's very important now that you move into this new part of yourself, because now the old part is done. The old part was more susceptible to people's narcissistic, more um, just more not standing in own self, just easily giving up the attention because it was like it understand that you you literally has been like in constant battle since you came into this place. Why you must do the work because now when you go inside and realize what it is and realize the power that you really have, the whole the authority that you really stand in, you walk with 24 7. Now you're in the more mindset of like not giving up your own self to plead other people, to plead other people that didn't that wanted your demise to begin with. Yeah, I'm just being real. When a person sees your light, when they see when they see who you are, it's going to be two emotions from it. Envy and jealousy. All right. Or no, 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 no. Envy results to jealousy. But there's going to be envy and those who admire you. Those who admire you are going to admire you either from a close or far. So they'll either show love out of respect, but it's not like a competitiveness. They're not competing with you. 
Yeah, so that's what I'm getting. All right, so it's more about a higher frequency because these people understand themselves. They understand that not to compete with others, but to compete with their self, right? And then on the other side of this, you got envy. And like I said before, envy results to jealousy. So when a person envies you, they're typically going to have jealousy of you. And when they have jealousy of you, they'll result to very demonic, very low measures, because there's going to be things that will attach onto them that wants to feed on that emotion, feed on that energy. So that's what's driving them. So they literally, people literally been had low things driving them to mess up other people. Whew. That's why I said like, it's a soul contract. Now you just, it's a bond. You see how, eh, check out uh, uh, Norgame, check out Konosuba, check out, Arcana, it's like this Korean movie. Basically, the more they indwelled in that low vibration, you right, uh, you, you, you get me right? They attached and became, they merged with it. So you understand. Literally, these frenemies, no different than the Matrix, has merged with the Asian Smiths. So don't have any emotion. That's why you're supposed to draw back and feed into yourself because... They want to stop you by all means, but that's why you get those people envy. They'll try to be your friend, right? Because they really want to stop you. Those are the people who, and it, it's not all friends. I, I won't like just, you know, put everybody in like, you know, as one. Well, even though they said we as one anyway, but I'm talking about there, there are those individuals when you come, when you're on this journey, you're going to see that they're trying to be your friend so they could sabotage you. And you can, you can recognize the sabotage because traits start to rise up. Like they'll copy you. They'll start to disappear. They'll start to anger very easily. Like, you know what I mean? Narcissistic. They'll gaslight you. They'll show, they'll exhibit these traits, right? All right. Cool, cool, cool. So, but as you know who you are, you begin to pull back because you understand that you've been, you know, for a while because they really, they trying to get you to run around because they trying to either stop you by all means necessary. There is no love. Love does not even exist. I know. And it'll be from the people that you would not expect. I don't know, excuse me, man. I just do some stuff because it's dry as F in Vegas. So I got to always keep my hair moist because that's what happened. I'm more like a, I'm telling you, man, you dry out real quick here, man. Ask anybody that moved, that lives in Vegas, man, your hair dry. And I'm like, and I've been shaving my hair bald for like, since I was like in college. Yeah. Right when I got out. So, but now I'm like letting it flow out because everybody's trying to wear their braids out. And we saw a Black Panther and we was like, yo, that's tight. Nah, I'm messing with y'all. But look, so you understand now that you have to protect the energy. So you got you got frenemies, you got those who admire you though, know, but show show love. Those are the ones who support you. They donate. Those are the ones who um, you know, they uplift you. They don't try to tear you down because they view because they see you as not a rival, but as something to something to fuel them themselves because we all. Need something to fuel us to want us to be better. You feel me? So stop looking at things as rivalry and more like a, you know, something to, I would say, take from so you can put in your own life to better self. So that way you can take more of yourself back and really make how you really want this reality to be for your own self. Cause you're, you're your own one play, uh, real time player. If you only some though, all right, not everybody's NPCs. So your real player mean you have, you can basically make your whole, make your part of your realm how you want it because this is your own version of your own reality, right? But we're just in a simulator that's been hijacked, right? Okay, cool. So, but you still have back that power. That's why literally it comes at, that's why these people attack you because you literally can douche and people do not like that. And then because, and they're doing that, they don't even know why they're doing that, but they're doing that because they're being a, you know, they're being used by other entities, AKA the lowest, lowest, just to keep you from taking back what is yours. And you, if you know, like anyone that takes back theirs, Agent Smith's always arise from that. If you if you if you've seen the Matrix, all right, check out the Matrix. And I feel like certain 
Agent Smith. And that is why they stalk you. That is why people they will always look at you. That's why they're like, bro, it is crazy. Crazy. And I'm going to leave it at that. So, because they're the Agent Smiths. They don't even know why. They're just, you know, so it's not really their fault. But it is their fault because they had to have... Um, they had to have a a first. They had to first resonate with that for, for that to happen to them. So for them to be hijacked, they had to already be on that vibration. Hmm. I know, right? So you acting out of love, you were supposed to do that, but never change who you are because what you have is needed right now. There's always some some watching behind the scenes. So that is why you just walk in your power and you don't have to ever think about none. So that's why I'm saying like now this veil is releasing, you're being brought or you're being propelled into a whole new reality because that was a test. I know. I know everything that is happening has been like testing you because now it's about to bring you into like this whole new reality. Like everything is about to be, be, be given to you like easily. Like I'm telling you, those the uh, the karma of the people who mocked you is... Um, those who mock you now got to see you rise and shine. And that is the worst karma. If you ever notice rising and stunting on your haters, that is the literally the ultimate karma, man. That's that's better than any karma. You guys already know. It. So that is what's going on right now. Yeah, it's everything's being tra transitioned into the uh, ether. Well, into the physical because it's already been in the etheric. Now it's transitioning into the physical right now yo so i got a lot of stuff yo actually there's a lot of topics to talk about this just like you know came into to my brain so i figured i'd tell y'all about it and it was a lot going on so i jumped around and i told y'all about many different things but that's to just get the information out there because um it's like uh everything's coming in right now and i just have to like like i don't know let it out because it happens so much so you feel me but Man, if y'all enjoyed this video, always like, appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? Thank you guys for your support, man. I always love that. But I'm about to tell you some stuff that's about to really change your whole, like the way you thought about this reality. Like you guys are going to be flabbergasted because it is crazy. But I, I'm going to do it after the video because I already put too much into this one. But thanks a lot, y'all. So stay tuned for more of this. And this is everything on the other side of the spectrum.